a tender and juicy meat coated in a rich oyster sauce. This stir fried chicken with ginger and spring onion is very tasty. The first step for this recipe will be to marinate the chicken. But just before we start, I have a fantastic news. You may have noticed, the channel just reached 10,000 subscribers! That's awesome! And to thank you guys, I have made a mini cookbook with 5 delicious must-try Thai recipes for everybody to download for free! I will leave the link in the description and I really hope you will like it. Alright, let's start cooking now. To marinate the chicken, I'm going to use only 2 ingredients. 1 teaspoon of sweet dark soy sauce. To not allow the dish to look too pale or have no color, this dark soy sauce is really helpful. A pinch of white pepper for spicing up the flavor. Combine the marinade well with the chicken meat. Then, I will leave it sit for about 20 minutes. But you can just leave it aside until you get everything else ready. Next, we are going to make a stir-fry sauce. In a mixing bowl, add 1 tablespoon of golden mountain sauce, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, and 1 tablespoon of fish sauce. Combine them well and set it aside. After the sauce, I will take care of the vegetables. I will start with onion and I'm going to just slice it. For the garlic, I will smash it with my knife and roughly chop it. This is the regular ginger. It has stronger taste than the young ginger. So if you have the young one, just add it more than the ginger I have. Trust me, using a spoon to peel the ginger skin is super convenient. After that, cut it thin. And slice the ginger into thin strips. Next is mushroom. The one we are going to use is wood ear mushroom. It does have a kind of crunchy texture which is quite unique and present. I will trim off the tough stem area, then thinly slice it. And since I'm a spicy lover, when I have a chance to add chili to my recipe, I do. So, I'm going to thinly slice Thai red chilies for the spicy flavor. You can use red bell pepper instead if you can't handle the spicy taste. Then spring onion. I'm going to cut it into about one and a half inches to not allow it to blend in the dish. Now if you got everything, let's get started. Heat the vegetable oil in a wok or a frying pan on medium heat. Bring chopped garlic in. Stir fry it with the oil for about 30 seconds or until the garlic releases its aroma. After that, add your marinated chicken in the wok, stir fry for about 3 minutes or until the meat almost cooked. Then add onion, mushroom, and ginger. I will stir fry until the ginger releases its aroma, the onion gets wilted, and the mushrooms are cooked. Only 2 minutes enough because I don't want to overcook it. Now it's time to pour in the stir fry sauce that we made earlier. Stir to mix and keep stirring until the chicken is cooked. Before the next part, if you like this video so far, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more yummy recipes every week. Now we will add red chilies or red bell pepper. Then add spring onion. Quickly toss it. Mmm, look at how juicy and tasty the chicken is. Also, the aroma of ginger, garlic, and the sauce, that makes me drool. I do have one recipe that you might love to try if you are a chicken and spice lover. It's Penang Chicken Curry, full of aroma and rich in coconut milk. Very tasty. Thank you for watching guys. See you next Saturday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.